and it captures my attention because yes. of the theme of this worship experience. Mm -hmm. We are talking about love. Yes. All right, all right. And I'm telling you what the world is starving from Come on now. is love. Yes. Amen. The problem that is existing in the world and in the church today in the 21st century is a true absence of love. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. And Paul writes to this Ephesian church in chapter 4. All right. And there were three verses that I selected and read previously. Uh -huh. Verse 14, 15. And 16. But I'm going to read two verses for your prayerful consideration. Verse 15 and 16. And it is from the NIV, the New International Version of the Holy Word. And it reads in verse 15, instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head. All right. That is Christ. Yeah. Verse 16 says, from him, the whole body, somebody say the whole body, the whole All right. body joined and held together mm -hmm. by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. That's what I'm going to talk about. You may be seated in the Lord's presence. I just want to talk about the tie that binds. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's preaching time. Share this subject with your neighbor. The tie the tie. The tie. That binds. Amen. The tie that binds. All right. There is a great hymn of our Christian faith that says, Blessed be the tie yes, sir. that binds mm -hmm. our hearts in Christian love. Yes, sir. The fellowship of love divine. Is like to that above. All right. All right. And I heard that song as a child growing up in the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I often wondered what was the tie that binds. All right, all right, all right. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. We used to sing a lot of stuff growing up yes, sir. Yes, sir. that we as children didn't know what they were singing. Can I get some witnesses here? All right, all right. We, we used to sing uh, a song when I was a child, uh, It's Gonna Rain. <laughs> and, and you better be ready mm -hmm. and bear this in mind. We used to say, and bear this in mind. Because we didn't know what they were singing. I need some help in here. We used to hear the old people say, Brother Cutler, back in the day, duty binds us. Or they would say, duty bound. And, and we didn't know what they were talking about when they would shake each other's hand. I'm in covenant meeting in the Baptist church. A love feast in the Methodist church. And testimony service in the Pentecostal church. We didn't know when they would conclude their testimony. Yes, the old saints used to say, duty bound. <laughs> when one had completed his or her testimony. All right, all right. Can I get a witness? Yes, but Paul says to the church in Ephesus, the issue is among you, you don't know what the tie that binds you is. He said, for there is a time that binds us as believers in Christ Jesus. I will submit to you 
as I hasten to a quick close today, that there is too much stuff that divides the church denomination of that. Can I get a witness in here? Our theology is too cracked up. Our doctrine and dogma is too wax that we really don't know what we believe. Can you say amen? amen? We got too many prophet liars who call themselves prophet fires until we can't even hear, is there any word from the Lord? Can I get some help out here somewhere? And we are divided as to what this church believes and what that church does not believe. We are too divided on things that really don't matter. For if we are the church of Jesus Christ, there is a tie that binds us. Can I get a witness here? Now in my sanctified spirit this morning or this evening rather, I want to tell you that, that I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not a Christian. Can I get a witness? That, that claims that my faith in a certain denomination yes. outweighs my relationship with my brothers. Right. Y'all yeah, will catch that link. All right. All right. I am a Christian who understands that my denominational right. affiliation does not cancel my fellowship with the saints. Because Jesus said, that we are all brothers and sisters yes, in Christ. Yes, Can I get a witness? Yes, Paul, Paul has to just get down and dirty with these <laughs> Ephesian Christians yes. because they had too much immature attitudes about certain things that presented themselves in the church. Paul talks about two things. He talks about unity and maturity. See, you can't be unified unless you have reached a level of spiritual maturity. Can I get some help right in the back? I need some help. See, see you, can't, you, you can't be unified in the body of Christ until all of us who are members of it Learn how to grow up. See, we got too many bottle suckers in the church. Oh yeah, when you have business beaten and, 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 and they start cutting up, you have not reached that level of maturity. Because mature Christians know how to love ye one another. See, we, we need to just go on and tell the truth. We are not perfect. The church is a perfect organism that Christ said upon this rock, can I get some help here? I'm going to build my church. But the people he entrusted the church to just happen to be imperfect. Y'all deacons with me? And so Paul says, I need to get you to a level of first unification. And secondly, I need to get y'all to a level of maturity. For he said, let me tell y'all something. Let me confess my ignorance. He said, I at one time was a conscientious objector against Christianity. But until, there are three people until. Until I got on the road to Damascus and had my own personal self-victive experience in the presence of Christ, that I am now not imprisoned to my doctrine, but I am a prisoner of Christ Jesus. See, the bishop can't help us. The moderator can't help us. The national president or state president of your convention can't help us. Our help and hope comes and is in the Lord. Paul said, I first think when you know you, you reach that maturity, he said, let me tell you, it's fruit going to show. All right, all right. I'm about 
to shout y'all. See, your fruit going to show when you when you really start to grow up, you can tell a child maturing. Because first of all, he's going to drop the bottle and he's going to become potty trained. All right, all right, all right. Come on now. You're right about it. Am I right about it? Come on, man. You, you, you can try to put him back on the bottle all you want. He's going to reject it. Because he's got the taste of that pot liquor off them grooms. <laughs>
Can we get a witness? We need to understand that position you hold as deacon and trustee and president of the choir, chairman of the usher ministry, the woman department, and all this other stuff that we call titles and positions. Don't you get so caught up in it that you think that I'm like a tree planted by the river. Well, baby, something can move you out the way. Paul said, when you reach that level of maturity, you recognize and acknowledge who the head is. And you'll know that Christ is the great head of the church. He goes on to conclude in this text. He said, from him, Christ, the whole body, is joined together by a supporting Ligament. Yes, sir. Yes. Now you know what? When I first read this text from the NIV, I'll be honest with y'all. I was shouting all over the house. <laughs> when I got to that word in verse number 16, I'm gonna preach in a minute, y'all, but but y'all just bear with me. I know it's been a long day. But when I got to that word supporting, two words, supporting ligament. I don't read that in the King James or any other translation, but in the NIV, he says that we are held together My Lord. by every supporting ligament. Y'all right. so, watch this. What, what's a ligament? Can I tell you anatomically what a ligament is? Go ahead. Go ahead. Are y'all sleeping? No. Okay, I'm just a, a ligament is a tissue, a tissue in the body that's fibrous. In other words, it's got a lot of bands in it. And it connects a cartilage to a bone. So that the muscle of that body can be connected to the bone as well. So that the body will have mobility. Tight, but it's right. <laughs> See, you got to make up in your mind, am I going to be a problem for the church? Wow. Or am I going to be a supporting little bit? Yeah. 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 And if I'm going to be a supporting little bit, then I got to know what connects me to the body. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. You're not here to run nothing. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Let, me, let me praise y'all Mount Calvary for a minute. Providence, y'all wake up and take note. Let, let me praise y'all for a minute. I admire you for being able, Deacon Dawson, to go on with your pastor being absent. And I ain't heard about y'all fighting yet. See, when you are, please Russell, a supporting ligament, you know your position and your place. That's right. That's right. You are there. The optimum word is you are there to support the body so that the body can have mobility. And mobility means we are determined not to move down, but to move up. Can I get a witness of here? You got to determine what direction you're going to take your church in. You ain't got but two choices. Either the church is going to move up or the church is going to move down. This supporting ligament helps the church to grow. And it builds the church up. Which leads us to the finality of the text. And that is the tie that binds us. What keeps us together? All right. Uh, you know, how many of y'all married in here? Don't raise your hand. All, right. All, right. All you married folk do. Who, 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 who? <laughs> what do you think keeps your marriage intact? See, see, let me tell you what I tell my wife. Let me tell you what I tell my wife. She would hit shit take. I said, I'm not faithful to you because I'm scared of you. <laughs> it's tight, but it's true. I ain't faithful to you because I'm scared of you. I'm faithful to you because of my fear of God. So you don't, you don't talk about I'm faithful to my church. I'm, I'm there every set when they have 
trip and the church door roll open, I'm up in there. You, you ain't up in here because you're scared of Jerome Williams or Lula Williams. You ought to be up in here because you fear God. You are supporting ligament because you love the Lord. See, the tie that binds your life to the Lord is not just your love of a man or woman. Your love of God ought to be more important than your love. No wonder it didn't work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When I met my wife, and you work with her, you know who I'm talking about. And she told me, she said, you know what? Let's get this thing straight. She said, I got another man in my life. I said, you what? So you're going you to get with me and play with somebody else on the side? That's my flesh. And I said, nah, uh, no, mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of man you've been used to, <laughs> but I ain't the one. <laughs> but she clarified her point. Right. Yeah. She said, I know you want me to love you, mm -hmm. but I can't love you when I love this other man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> this, this thing is doomed to fail <laughs> before we get started. <laughs> she said, let me tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my relationship with God. I can't love you more than I love you. Because you can't do for me what he has done for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a vision? Point number one, the tie that binds us, first of all, it ties us in right relationship with God. Let God be God. Let him be first in your life. Yeah. Stop getting up tight, lying, and chest up like now that the Lord who first in my life. If God ain't first in your life, don't tell nobody. He first in your life. Because where have you been for the last six months? You ain't been in Bible study. You ain't been to Sunday school. You ain't been to church. You ain't been nowhere near the church. But yet you won't tell somebody, God is first in my life. If God is first, somebody going to see you in right relationship. Can I get a witness? Let me tell you how to measure some of y'all. We're going to miss paying you for about six months. We're going to weep. We can't pay you for being the janitor for the next six months. We can't pay you for being the secretary for the next six months. We can't pay you musician for the next six months. We, we can't pay you for whatever you do. Preacher for the next six months. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You're going to find out if there's a tie that binds. Preach Russell, preach. Preach Russell. No, I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to quit. Preach Russell. See, now you can really tell folk how much they love some. If they aren't compensated yes, that's right. for that situation. Yes. Oh, I tell y'all sisters, if y'all look at me crazy, if y'all want, y'all know Jody make you feel good, but if Jody stop paying, <laughs> you gonna drop that zero and get you a hero. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Oh yeah, talk to me. Yeah. And I, I'm just saying what I'm saying. You got to know the tie that binds you in the right relationship. And that is, if you love the Lord, you're going to be obedient to him. You're going to be present. They're not going to worry about if you ain't wall or not. They will know where you are, how you are, and what you're doing. Because once you get in right relationship with Jesus, you will show evidence of your love for him. Relationship. Yeah. 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 Other part of that relationship, you got to be in right relationship with each other. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, Lord, don't yeah. say it, Pastor. Yeah. Why y'all raise so much hell in the church? Mm -hmm. Tell it. Why is there so much backbiting in church? All right. Wake up, don't go to sleep yet. If you're in right relationship with him, you will be in right relationship with me. Can I get a witness here? If you love the Lord, George, you're going to love me. And likewise, I'm going to love you. Because God is a relationship fixer. He's a relational God. He fixes relationships. Yes, I'm going to tell you, if you've done something to somebody you know it ain't right, why don't you fix it? All right, all right. Right. Brothers, don't go home and play the silent treatment with your woman because you're going to teach her a lesson. Get it right. I know men, I'm a man. I've been a man 53 years. And I played the silent treatment. I'm mad with you, so don't say nothing to me. Walk in the house, don't speak. Go and close up in your man cave. And treat somebody like they're a child. What the childishness of it is, is how you are acting. Can I get a witness again? If God is fresh in your life and you reach that level of maturity, you are in right relationship with Him, but you got to get in right relationship with one another. Let the church say amen. 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 Second thing you got to do. After you know you're in right relationship with him and each other. Yes, sir. Then the other thing is, you got to be committed to growth. Yes, yes, yes. I don't never stay the same. Mm -hmm. All right. You know what church folk do? As long as it ain't costing us nothing, we love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love it as long as it ain't costing nothing. Mm -hmm. We'll pay some light bill. We pay the water bill. All right. We keep some insurance on the church. But if you start talking about some major improvements, they want to know how much it's going to cost us. But if you want a new house, a new car, or some new clothes, or new whatever, the cost is not important because you want it. You got to be committed to the tie that binds us in relationships separately, binds us to grow and to build the body of Christ up. All right. My brothers and my sisters, as I get ready to close here, Paul tells the Ephesian church that there is a tie that binds us. And if we are going to grow numerically, right. and if we are going to grow financially, yeah. and if we are to grow spiritually, right. then our determination must be that we are going to build one another up. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Instead of being content with the business of tearing down. Yes. Why don't we commit to the business of building up? Yes. Because the church cannot grow by itself. It does not grow by osmosis. But it grows by a committed membership that decides to be a supporting living. Let go that word again. Well, I'm supporting the church because I like what the hymn writer said. I love the church, oh God. Her wall before these things. Dear as the apple of thine eye and graven on thy hand. And you see, my brothers and sisters, Paul tells the Ephesian Christian that the most important thing that binds us together is our love for each part of the work. Can I get a witness here? You got to first say that I love the Lord. 
Oh, man.